Woo wee! Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Garden and Canning Recipes. A little bit of everything, and it is cold. But indeed, it's going to get much, much colder. Now, they keep going back and forth on the forecast, but it's still cold, <laughs> regardless of how you look at it. Like uh, yesterday, it was going to be 20 degrees on Thursday, 11 degrees on Friday, and I think 16 or 19 on Saturday morning. And now they've changed it to be 16 degrees on Thursday, 12 degrees on Friday, and I still think 19 degrees on Saturday, which is Christmas Eve. So, what am I doing? I'm picking peppers today, guys. I'm going to try to strip these plants bare and get all these peppers because tomorrow we're supposed to get down to 29. I'm not sure if this high tunnel will get uh, to freeze them, but it very well could because we've had cold days, so it's not been allowed to heat up in here. Now, today it's going to be sunny, so it'll probably heat up the dirt in here and maybe give us a little bit of reprieve, but we're going to pick just in case. Look at this beautiful Anaheim pepper. That is just gorgeous. These plants are just loaded, guys. Loaded with beautiful peppers. A beautiful cluster here of these chilies. Woo-wee! If you're making tamales this year, or making chili coming up, what a gift. Now that's what I call a bell pepper picking on December the 16th or 17th. I think it's the 17th. No, it's the 16th. No, it's the 17th. December 17th. Wow. So I sure hope we don't lose these guys, but there's a, a pretty good chance we may. Greg's on his way to get uh, some more barrels. He bought about six or seven that he's going to put in here and he's going to put some compost up against them to generate some heat and it might be enough it might just be enough to keep us above freezing i sure hope so i'd hate to lose these pepper plants so the objective guys is to fill all these barrels and let them heat up over these next several days and maybe they'll radiate and generate enough heat in that big high tunnel to keep things above freezing it's going to be awfully cold so this would be a good test of this method. And we still have quite a bit of compost Greg can pile up against them. So we'll see what he's gonna do. But uh, yeah, wish us luck. These little golden acre cabbages won't be much longer. I gotta protect them guys before uh, they're gonna be ready. I'll beat up, to, uh, I'll beat it up. That's what I'll do is I'll beat it up. I'll be able to heat up this little high tunnel with Mr. Heater back there and keep it above freezing. I'm pretty certain about that. And plus uh, we've got this little high tunnel for my tomato plants and they're doing fantastic guys. I don't want to lose them because this will allow us to have some tomatoes uh, probably by March, which is what we want. So I think I'll be able to keep things safe in here. Now they're saying that there's gonna be some 40 to, uh, 40 to 50 mile an hour winds, which is gonna drop our wind chill way down. It's gonna be absolutely frigid. So a couple more things I'm gonna do is I gotta get my electric blanket ready. Um, let's see, what else? So many things to try to prepare. Um, be sure and keep your faucet stripping. Open up your cabinets in your kitchen and your bathrooms just to let the heat go through to the pipes. Check your hot water heaters. Uh, my daughters, both of their bladder hot water heaters burst in uh, February of 2021 during that big storm. So I've already given her a heads up that they probably need to get a space heater because their, their bladder hot water heaters are in their garage, guys. And with those low of temps, it easily could get below freezing in your garages. So uh, still so many things I'm thinking of. Um, hand warmers, um, if I have to come outside and work, my coveralls are insulated coveralls. Gotta get those washed and ready to go. The dog's coat, <laughs> I gotta get those washed and ready to go. So still pondering on uh, preparing and 
what we might can do to take care of things around here to try to save what we can save harvesting today i know a lot of you are picking tomatoes we were picking tomatoes right up until christmas day last year guys not this year um but yeah so we've had such a mild uh fall now i will say again it's been more seasonable than it has been in the last several years which is hopeful that we're going to have a normal weather pattern i know a lot of you say that y'all don't think we'll ever go back to normal on that. I'm really hoping that you're wrong and I'm hoping that we do, but I understand your concern and I understand your thoughts on it. So I don't think we'll be opening up this high tunnel, this big high tunnel today. We're gonna, uh, it's gonna be around 49 degrees, but it's gonna be a sunny day. So we're gonna allow this dirt and stuff to heat up in here, hopefully. Um, keep us above freezing. We're supposed to get down to 29 tomorrow. So we wanna stay above freezing if possible and it's going to take us letting things heat up in here um, to, to get close to that and to be successful hopefully all my little tenderlings are looking pretty good out here but we are still wrestling with some of those stupid cabbage worms and uh, greg's been treating them with bt so we're hoping to get that under control guys it's just really been a big battle so here's my pickings for the day. I got about five gallons of Anaheim peppers, a little bit more over there. And I got, oh, lots of beautiful bells. Look at this one. Man, that thing is gigantic. Ooh, I hope that we can save these guys. I really, really hope that we can save them. Another thing I've been thinking about is we've got to get all these water hoses. We've got to pull them into the high tunnels so that they will stay uh, thawed out, especially during the day because guys, you still need to water, and if we have an extended freeze, you're not gonna be able to use them water hoses. So uh, be sure and make sure you have some, or at least one set aside in your garage or somewhere where it'll stay thawed out. In the vent, you need to use it to water your plants. So thinking of all of you, thinking, thinking of all of you, and also thanking all of you. If you're new to our channel, we appreciate your sub. We appreciate you watching us. We have a great community. And uh, we thank all of our uh, subscribers that have been with us for a long time. We love you all. And uh, we're going to keep working this week and get ready. And uh, I know you guys are too. I'm already seeing some comments from you about what all you're doing to get prepared and you need to get prepared. Um, they're saying that we're probably going to set some records on low temps this Christmas. We'll see. I know that we do get cold here in Texas. It's usually not extended and it's... Uh, and it's usually not that cold, but we do get, we do get temperatures like that occasionally. So you guys take care. God bless you all. Take care. And we will see you in a, in a day or so. Love you.